Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you're new, feel free to hit the subscribe button, but we got something to get into. Episode 13 of the FC 24 Realistic Player Career Mode. And you know it's Middlesbrough FC right now for Jesus Fabianski. Our very first match, we're gonna skip this Wales Welsh friendly. We're gonna go right into the very first match against Manchester City. Sit back, relax, get some water to drink, and I'll see everyone when we're out there on the pitch. Let's go. It's that time. Hopefully everybody's having a great day. I know I am. I've really been in the FIFA mood, so hopefully we can have some really good showings today. And yes, I am trying to really focus on the heartbeat, so I will be looking to get three passes in the opposition's grounds. Should be nice and easy today. And I do have to remember, I'm playing the right wing. I saw a lot of comments down below saying, well, actually two comments specifically, saying to go to Manchester United, given that they don't have a good right winger. I'm not sure, I thought Anthony was there, but maybe I'm wrong about that. We'll see exactly where everybody says we should go, and I'll probably do a poll later on, once we get a couple teams. But here we go on the corner. Bernardo Silva, Kevin De Bruyne. I mean, I like Manchester City, but I'm honestly not really happy with them right now. Given that Arsenal, the team I support, really just choked it again. And Manchester City did the same exact thing they did last season, which was catch us from behind. We were leading the whole time. Not the whole season, but towards the end, we start leading like always. And then it just happens every time. It's like I stopped watching for just a little bit. And next thing you know, we're done. <laughs> we're, out the, we're out the running. But here we are today. Look at Jesus Fabianski with a good run and a beautiful step already looking for the goal. Nice and easy, Trevella, Le Trevella. Oh, golasso! To get us started, man. Hamdouala, easy finish all the way down. Travella with the left foot and Jesus Fabianski looking for the victory today against the number one ranked team in the Premier League. It's crazy to think about these. Have, these guys have zero losses. I have not seen why, but I'm sure we're gonna find out exactly why they have zero losses. A good run right there by Jesus on the opposite side of where he's supposed to be. But it's just that left foot that he goes in there with. Travella finish to top it off, making it 1-0 on the day. It's going to be a very close match. And hopefully today we can get this glorious victory. Derek Ray said Manchester City looking for inspiration. We'll find out if they're all about it. But here we go, Bernardo Silva. Good step in. And that's why they're number one top of the table with no losses. Bernardo Silva comes right back down. I think that was a quick roulette. I'm not even sure. Step over move. Let's see it again. Quick one. There it is. And he steps right in with a beautiful left-footed shot. Okay. Same match. Just a set, different recording now. It looks like some lag happened and it kicked me off the whole recording. So that's his first goal all season. And of course it comes on us. Bernardo Silva already has one today. Looking like he wants a second. Look at him stepping in. No fullbacks making a play, of course. Kevin De Bruyne slows it down. Looking for the pass now. Jack Grealish in the box. And of course, it's Phil Foden. No, it's not. Dillap. Another shot. And right into the back of the net. I mean, I knew what it was going to be today. I knew what to expect. And of course, no surprise. Down in this match and now looking for the victory. Make sure to make plays. Latte love. Good touch. Good shot. Okay. Hey, I'm not mad at that attempt. As long as we keep putting shots on target and allowing ourselves to get opportunities, I'm not gonna be mad about it. Good pass. Smith. Latte laugh. Oh my gosh, bro, his touch is horrible. Man, he was impressing me earlier in the season with his abilities, but right now he just has not been able to pick it up. And here they go. Manchester City on the run. McNairlow, good play, and maybe Dilap can get there. Quick back heel, no luck. Smith, good touch. 87 minute, Latte laugh. This is something for our history books right here. I'm not sure who that was, Acuna. Good move from Jesus. Just let the ball go away from him. A disappointing match today. I mean, nobody expected us to win, but it looked really good for us in the very beginning of this match. It's pretty disappointing to say that we did catch the loss. And I mean, in our next match, we will be looking for a huge bounce back victory. And make sure you let me know down below in the comments any teams you would like to see me go to. I'm definitely looking forward to maybe trying to go to the Serie A simply because he is Italian, and maybe that will be his end goal. He'll get there to the Serie A, play there for about eight years, five years, you know, quite a bit of time. Given that he is Italian, like I said before, hopefully we'll be able to explore the world and get back over to Italia. All right, everybody, I'll see everyone in the next match, hopefully victorious. What's going on, everybody? We are here with another great performance, hopefully. 
Jesus Fabianski looks to turn it up and maybe get the 8.5. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to turn out, but we're here playing Crystal Palace, and I know at least, at least they're not gonna be as good as Manchester City. And we was able to move the ball a little bit and score it at least one time against Man City. So hopefully today we could do the same against Crystal Palace and turn it up for the fans. And everybody watching right now, of course. Here we go, Azaz. I'm looking to get my agility up in the training. That's probably the most important thing, especially as a winger, being able to move those hips and lose your man. And Latelaf already on the, on the post. Not exactly what you want to see in terms of accuracy, but at least we're getting started early. And I'm looking for a shot right here. Ah, good defense. Let's move it. Crystal Palace looks like they're going to be playing defensively. So we're going to move that ball and look at Smith. Good touch, maybe. I'm running through. Come on, Smith. Hit me up. Latelaf. Good finish. Good finish. That's what I'm talking about. We know he's able to finish those shots. And all we need to do is start moving forward. We're starting to look to move up the table. And every time we start moving up the table, it just means better accomplishments for the team. Because who knows? Yeah, Manchester City have not lost. And I'm probably, I think they've won most of their games as well. So we're going to have to go on a win streak if we even want to be um, top four, top five. I think top 10 is an accomplishment for this team, honestly. Look at Jesus. Good, dish it off. Bangura, we ain't seen him in a minute. Latte Laugh. Try to get, get it to him, but Azaz, good touch on Latte Laugh. What a pass! Oh, yo, we playing like Barcelona. We playing like Barcelona, and whoa! Jesus bringing out something crazy. We haven't seen a nice goal like that from the team in quite some time. I think I've moved that one up to Azaz. He passed it in, Latte Laugh. Latte Laugh. Just a ghost pass, didn't even see me flying up behind him, but I did call for it. Look at that pass. Jesus Fabianski, beautiful touch off the right foot to the dominant left. A quick touch, and that's exactly why you have to pick him up. He's showcasing his talents here in the Premier League. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here in the Premier League, bottom of the table right now, and we did see Man United in the comment section as a team that we are interested in. I'm pretty sure we have a good chance to get in there. And matter of fact, towards the end of this episode, We'll have a little bit of an overview on our chances of getting there so far. This is the best we've played in recent memory. I mean, come on, 2-0 right now, exactly what you want to see. A beautiful performance and exactly the way we need to get out of here. That's what I'm saying. Smith is there to play. We here to play. I mean, probably because it's not a, as good of a squad we're playing against, but he's been playing good. That's a tough shot. Yeah, I knew SZA was going to come in there and strike something like that. And Latte Love, crazy we taking him off the pitch. He's our best guy. Crazy. Look at the style points, though, from Jesus. Doing too much, of course. Garcia on a run. Step over move. Thank you. No way. Diang, good save. Exactly what you need to see from your goalkeeper late in the match. They say this is the last chance. We'll see. Ooh. Wow. That was a very close shot off the head. Glancing header as well. I mean, that's a real tough one. And then we should be good to play after this. All right, that is game as well. So everyone just want to say thank you for tuning in to this match. I'm having some technical difficulties here with my sticks. I'm going to get these on the charger, and I will see everyone next match. All right, everybody, my controller's about to die, so let me plug it up before the next match, and I'll see everyone when it's go time, hopefully with a victory. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with our third match. Apparently, today is the Derby. Now, I had no idea that we was going to be getting into this. The Derby today, I had no idea that Newcastle United was our opposition, our rival. But it looks like we are rivals. Let me know about this. What's the history on this derby? I had no idea. Um, this probably will be the highlight of this match. Newcastle United sitting at number nine on the table right now. And we are sitting at probably 17 or 16. So we're sitting pretty far down the table. But I feel confident about our chances today. As long as we can play counterattacking football like how we are about to play right now. And Jesus trying to get a step. But of course his ball control, not the highest. You gotta get some more experience in the game and get a get a bit more training underneath his boots. But here we go, Isak, quick one, Almiron, and a quick shot as well, again and again and again. Joe Ellington and Gordon, an easy shot, but a good block. Joe Ellington, oh my goodness, bro. They, <laughs> they just got five shots off. Five shots off before we could even get one. 
and a quick touch. Let's go, let's move it. We're gonna have to play counterattack and football. Possession might not be our game today. But I mean, that's how we're gonna have to win, by possessing a ball, if we can, of course. There we go. Good through ball. Oh, I gotta go near post there. I gotta really see the shot and then execute every time or else we're gonna not have a chance of winning this match today. Oh, Pope on his P's for sure. And he was ready for a shot like that. He must know Jesus is all about those type of finishes. Good touch for Latte Laugh. But wait a minute, I got my own shot. I gotta open it up a little bit sooner, I think. If I wanna go for something like that. And I gotta be ready for the pass back to the middle. So let me get back to my zone. Make sure to play my area correctly and allow no shots to come down this right side of the pitch. Isak looking for a quick pass, and here it is, Amaron in the midfield, and a great play from Bangara. I've never seen him get beat yet. He plays football. And I keep coming over here like Messi, bro, just trying to move the ball around to all my teammates. Latte Lauf, good pass there, and look how he's running. Good effort, bro. He's got hustle in his game. Uh, off the block. Good touch, Smith. Finish. I'm like, those are the shots you got to go for, though. Some of those shots, those janky ones, you don't really expect to go in. And next thing you know, they are going in. Good fake and a good pass from Jesus. Effort. McNair. Good touch from Jesus. Oh, chop Ronaldo. Ah, uh, no. That was such a Ronaldo-esque chop right there. And if I was able to execute it just perfectly, I know that would have been a goal. I mean, all we have on our mind right now is just making a play. You know what I'm saying? And a quick pass to Gordon. Wow. We're going to let that one sink in. A quick shot, quick goal. I'm pretty sure just a nice back kill. Look at that. Joe Wellington sent him through in a quick near post shot. Diang just not really there. And of course, you hear the crowd now. Newcastle United at St. James Park here. Turning it up, feeling good. And a quick move from Jesus. Look at that. Foul on the play, of course. They can't stop him right now. Advantage. All the way, all the way, all the way. Got to be. Oh, how do I miss that shot? How do I miss that? It's just not good enough. Barnes, quick pass now. Trippier, we need to be there. Bangara. And of course, they just leave him too much space, you know? Just way too much space for the shot. And every time it comes down to be a goal on us. Oh, wow. He did a no-look pass like that. Where'd that been all game? At least on the ground, that is. Maybe on a set piece. We'll see. Yep, there it is. There it is, man. You tried to do everything you can for your team, but of course, it doesn't go your way every single time, am I right? So, we're gonna just play, and we're gonna keep moving, keep running, and allow ourselves to have a great time on the pitch. We might be down in Livermento, man. He's just playing today, making sure we don't have any fun. Four minutes of extra time, and we're looking for a goal here late. Frost, we have nothing to lose now. Good touch, come on, Jones. Look inside, boy. We've had four minutes extra time, and we've already wasted all of it. And of course, even when we have a good shot there, a good chance, no luck. And here we go. I'm looking for the cross goal. Probably going to be a header to the back post or the front. And let me see if I can get a hold of that. I do. Ah, trying to get crafty, but no luck. And of course, a disgusting showing today of skill and passion on the pitch. It was the derby and we got demolished in the derby, okay? So hopefully the next time we play Newcastle, I'm not even sure, I think we've only played them one time this season because we're in December right now. So hopefully next time we play them, we come back with the victory and hopefully in our next match, we just pick up a win. That's two losses back to back, not what you wanna see, especially against top of the table teams. Once again, I'll see everyone in our next match. Last one of the episode, Make sure you stay tuned to see exactly how it turns out. Hopefully a victory, hopefully a hat trick. I'll see everyone when it's time. From here on out, every time y'all see me do a little bit of an intermission, I'm gonna try and keep it cut free. Keep it smooth, keep it classic, old school, like a Netflix movie. Here we go, Manchester City, we see them already. 41 points, 15 matches played, 13 wins with two draws. All you Man City fans out there, I've been hearing the stereotype of, about Man City fans is they're all young. Let me know that down below in the comments. And man, you fans, look at y'all in fifth place. Arsenal still there at the top in fourth. Spurs, though, surprisingly, two losses, 10 wins and three draws at the top. 
And we're going to be playing Brighton, number 11 right there, with 17 points. Next match for the last one. And finally, Middlesbrough out of relegation. So maybe, maybe if we're not able to get over to Manchester United, which I'm going to show everyone once we get that all set up right before the end. So we will be playing Brighton in this next match, a top 15 opponent. So it does matter. And this right here could flip us. Boom. Top 15. That's top half of the table. And all we got to do is keep working on the wins. So I'll see everyone on the pitch when it's go time, hopefully with that victory. What's good, everybody? We live from Riverside, Middlesbrough, home ground. We know what time it is. The fans here for the last match of the episode. And I want to say thank you to everyone that has stayed this far. Hopefully you've all been enjoying it. And um, I'm going to try and start coming with this three times a week. So, oh, we here. I feel good about today's match. I feel very good. Romanio looking for a quick pass already. Don't get overzealous. Don't get overzealous, gentlemen. There we go. I'm just going to put my body on the body there and look for a contact. Come up and make the play. Bro, they letting them just, they drop back so far, these uh, center backs. It's crazy to me. That's what allows them to get those type of shots. I mean, they already in the box, essentially. Go, 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 go. One more, one more. Got to get around him, though, man. Got to get around him. I'm definitely going to make my guy a bit taller. I'm not sure exactly why he's this short, especially when he's not the fastest on the pitch. Like, he should be able to run around those guys if he's this height, five foot seven. But I might have to be just a little bit stronger in my approach, a little bit taller, and make a play. Chill. They're trying to set your boy up. I need some more stamina. Good cross. Oh, Latte Love! Let's go, boy. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. A beautiful finish, and we know he's all about that. Hey, I'm not going to lie. I wish that was me on the cross, but now I know. For future references, I got to keep playing it in. Because look at Mina. Quick cross, beautifully played, and a great finish in the air from Emmanuel Latte Love. Easy one. 37th minute goal. And that's exactly what I want to see from the team, all around passing. And that's how you score goals. I mean, come on, we got to keep playing. We're just holding the ball at this point, looking to get our win. We haven't had a win in so long, so we know we want to secure this. Quick touch, Mina. That's how we playing it, boy. Give me that. Let's go, bro. I knew that was going to be a goal. That's what he's all about. Jesus Fabianski makes it 2-0, and there's no way. No way they coming back. They're finished. After that finish like that, just a great, excellent touch. We've seen him hit that shot before, and that's going to be his shot from here on out. Steps right inside the box, 19 meters out, and he just drapes it in there like some sheets, bro. Top left corner, pocket watching. Quick shot, quick finish, 2-0, and hopefully today we can get the victory. Here we go, 86 minutes played, and Jesus Fabianski on the run. Almost no stamina, but he makes a move now and he looks advantageous and he's tapping it. Good footwork now and he's looking for the goal and it has to be Travella. Has to be Quaresma as Travella, but a messy like run makes it 3 0 on the day and Jesus Fabianski is relishing in the moment. The man of the match with two goals today, a beautiful brace. No surprise, this one is the perfect match to end it off. Runs like Messi all the way down to the end. And a great finish at the end of that run as well. The Travella is old school. And you cannot beat that type of finish. Jesus Fabianski putting his team on his back today. Middlesbrough on the map today. At the home ground. Just an amazing performance from the whole team. And that's exactly what I need to see from the teams we play against. We was able to compete with top teams. That Man City game today we saw. If you're staying to this point, greatly appreciated once again. Just want to say thank you very much for tuning in. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe for more content just like this, and I'll see everyone back at the main menu. All right, everybody, how's it going? Here we are with the team selection. We're going to go right to Man U. I'm going to see if I can do this without any edits. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to... Oh, wow. Okay, I guess when I put my money up that high, they just not looking to bring me on for that type of contract, I think. So I'm pretty sure we could change our target team. Let's go to Man U. And right now, this is how it's looking for us. Top corner goals, optional, created goals, and successful crosses. 
Now, I'm not too sure how y'all feel about it, but I do kind of want to go to maybe the Bundesliga or maybe even go to Italy before we come back to the Premier League because I'm not really sure exactly how we're looking. Maybe Milan wants to pick us up or something like that. See? Look, Milan looks a little bit easier to get to. So let me know down below in the comment section. Milan is a great, great option. Five-star team in Italy. I'm looking to go to there. That's just how I feel. Let me know what y'all think down below. Obviously, we know that England is here and the Premier League is here and Manchester United is here. We see what the contract is. Successful crosses, created goals. First time, like, it's a bit different. So, you know, we might not get that contract. But Milan right now is where I have my mindset and my eyes set. So let me know down below in the comment section and we're going to do a whole vote on it. So don't even get worried about it. It's going to be everybody involved on the whole channel that supports me. We're going to make sure everyone has a say when it comes down to that. So here we go. A little bit of an update. 17 appearances, 11 goals and 5 assists. And here we are, um, Latte Laf, 7 goals and 2 assists. So right now we're jumping up the charts and I just want to say thank you very much once again for tuning in. If you enjoyed, drop a like down below, subscribe for more content like this. I will be posting three days a week now. I'm staying, staying true to that. Word is born for real. So stay safe, everybody. Peace out. Take it easy, y'all.